And now comes the part that sounds crazy. So crazy, it just might work. How is it that you're able to hear me right now? It's pretty crazy when you think about it. But it was the 1900s and radios were getting crazy. Or maybe I'm crazy. It could charge 13,000 volts. That's crazy. That's crazy. To the crazy advanced ones like these. This drove me crazy for days. Pretty crazy, right? But what's even cooler is how this works. One of the nice things about buying old speakers for pennies is that you can do crazy things like paint them or replace the speaker grill cloth without regret. This is some pretty crazy engineering in a number of ways. We were pumping those things out like crazy, but due to the crazy reactivity of elemental sodium, particularly if the high voltage igniter sends some crazy voltage spikes to the LED drop-in. When you combine that with crazy mechanisms like the Wurlamatic, makes it seem a little less crazy. And by that time, the electronics weren't so crazy advanced and at the very top with crazy fast networking equipment. Now we've got videotape recorders, but those things use crazy technology that's super expensive. When I was a wee lad, I thought these teleprompters were filled with some crazy laser technology that made a sort of image that could only be seen from one side. Crazy effects like that. Ooh, it's not too crazy. You could do the crazy thing and set up a bunch of space heaters on kilowatts. It's driving me a little crazy and there is a very small amount of information out there. Crazy, it's good.